Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, this time in Microsoft Excel, particularly using Pivot Table. Now, we all know that tables and charts are good ways to show reports. Tables are actually good at showing a summary in tabular form, while charts shows the summary in a graphical form. But what is pivot table? Now, when we talk of pivot table, it is a very good tool in preparing a summary report, especially from a large data set. For example, hundreds or thousands of data sets without consuming too much time and removing the difficulty of preparing it. Now, the solution to this situation is of course, again, pivot table and pivot chart. Now, with pivot table, we can prepare summary and show analysis or patterns and trends uh, of the table that we have in our Excel. We can, uh, it also allows you to prepare an inter interactive and dynamic summary report and uh, with pivot table, automatically a pivot chart can be prepared as a way to graphically present the summary table. Now, let's get into how we can prepare a pivot table and chart in Microsoft Excel. Let me demonstrate how to prepare pivot table and chart using this uh, data set. This data set actually monitors the daily sales, for example, of uh, certain products with the uh, categories of each product and it's either sold as wholesale or retail how many the quantity sold and its corresponding units price and amount so to have the pivot table uh, we go to insert tab and then select pivot chart okay now if you click this one, it's either you select pivot chart or pivot chart and table. So let me select this one. Okay, this dialog box will appear. This dialog box will allow you to set the table or the range. In this case, I will select table. The name of the table is table 2. Uh, if you are not uh, sure of it, you just click on this and then select the range of the data set. So, I have table 2 and then that if your source is within the same uh, workbook, but if you have an external data source, then you can select this one. So, let me use the table 2 as my data set and then where would you like to place or to create the pivot table and chart? Is it in a new worksheet? Is it in existing worksheet? Okay, so in this case, I will have it in a new worksheet and then click OK. So you now have this uh, blank worksheet and in the right portion, you have the pivot chart fields. Okay. Now, in order for you to see how the pivot table works and how the chart is created, you need to select the fields that you're going to use uh, as your filter, as your axis category, or the values that you would like to see. For, so, for example, I would like to select, uh, I will filter, for example, according to category. I'll click and drag. So, I have here uh, category as my filters. And then, I would like to see uh, the products. So, I'll select product as my axis label so you now notice that we already have a table here and then I'll select for example would you like the quantity sold or the amount so for example I will use quantity sold as my sum of values so automatically you now notice that the chart has been created based on the uh, 
amount of sale per product. Now, since we use filters as uh, we use category, I should say, as filters, therefore you can manipulate uh, the category here. Say, for example, you would like only to see your sales uh, in the category of long pants. Then you just click on this, click OK, and then the graph will automatically show you how many products how 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 many products were sold for example in certain uh, products under a certain category so another example say for example i'll click on t-shirts and okay so automatically the table and the chart will also change so that's how pivot uh, table and chart is working of course you can have other options uh, if you want to have more options on this so now say for example I would like to add more categories like sold as okay then I can manipulate say for example sold as retail I would like to see only those products per in all categories sold as retail then automatically uh, values will appear so that's how we can make use of uh, pivot table and chart of course you can manipulate other fields if you want to let me give you another example so again insert pivot table pivot chart and then I'll use the same uh, table to New worksheet, click OK. Again, I'll give I'll have another worksheet. Say for example, uh, category. I'll use it as my axis label. And then under amount of values, I'll have the actual amount. So you now notice that I can have the actual amount for uh, my sales on uh, dusters category, long pants, and so on and so forth without having filters on it. Now, it depends on what kind of analysis you would like to see on your output. So, that's how you can uh, utilize the pivot table and pivot chart without worrying what kind of report would I be using. As long as you know how to manipulate your fields, what would be the fields that you're going to use in your filters, in your axis labels and in the values of course in the values you can make changes like for example what are your value field settings would you like to count only or average so that's how you uh, can set value field settings or you can uh, have count so it will only count how many were sold in the dusters category and so on and so forth so try to manipulate the value field settings under the uh, values so that you can see how what would uh, what output would you like to have in your pivot table and pivot chart so i hope you learned something new in this presentation god bless everyone